Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here with, who am I with? Michael Fisher. Michael Fisher, and you know, we're, I'm out here uh, shooting Butcher's Bluff, and you're actually one of the stars of the film. I am, yeah. Yeah, so you're, we're all, you know, I'm finished shooting my stuff, but you still have a lot left to shoot. Got a lot. Over the next couple weeks or so. Yes, sir. But you talk, took me out to Half Price Books, uh, records and magazines. Yes, sir. But it's got DVDs and Blu-rays. It we're does, not, we yeah. Know, we're not looking for the magazines. You, no. may, you might be looking for some records, maybe, but. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I'm more in the movie thing. Yes. Yeah. So. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff in there. You said though, this is out of all the ones around here, this is one of the better ones. Yeah, I like this one, yeah. Like I said, most of the hipsters live around here, so they, they drop off all their good stuff. And so, yeah, it's a little more expensive, but. Yes. It's one of those ones where if there's something out of print, they check the prices a lot. So yes, a lot sir. of times you, you don't, you know, catch them slipping on this stuff. But That's right. when you, sometimes you do though. So fingers crossed, we'll see if we can find something. Hopefully there's not a lot of music, otherwise I'll have to talk all over it later, but we'll see though. But into Half Price Books, we go. Well, Michael, you were right, there's no music in here. Because I was in one of them uh, last time I was out here. I don't think, no, I think it was actually in another state and there was like this loud music the whole time. Yeah. It was like a, a nightmare. Yeah, that's not good. So is it all separated in here by categories or is it no, all? it's, it's all. It's all one, so you kind of have to, you have to really look through it. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah, it looks like they set, set, uh, separated the TV stuff, though. So, That's now, that was the one you were talking about that yeah. you wanted $30. Yeah, 30 bucks. But oh, I yeah, that is it. a weird one. I've ne definitely never seen this one. It's cool, man. There's this scene right here. It's really good. They rip a head in half. The brain falls out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, right. I've, de I've definitely. I, there was a, there's other movies called that, like you said, the, yeah, the Peter Jackson one. Uh, yeah, the brain, Peter Jackson one. Yeah, which uh, is known Dead Alive and then Brain Dead, two different titles on it. Yes, sir. But I've definitely never seen that one. Definitely though. worth checking out if you haven't. When seen was it from? Too was it? What year was that? Probably, this was like probably like 2008. Oh, that's cool. There. That's yeah, cool. I'm not seeing it, but. Yeah, I don't think that company's in business anymore. Vicious Cycle Films. That's what if, that's what like happens too. If like a company's Vicious out of circle. business, this is Circle Films. Like, that's what so often happens if something goes out of like the company's no longer around. Right. This is a weird one to see in here too. Okay. Bad taste. And they've been talking about this forever coming out to like Blu-ray and 4K, and they never have done it. Really? And this is one of those movies too. Did, did you ever go to a store called um, uh, was it Blowout Video? I never and they had like a there was in if you ever watched like MTV back in the day they had um in the background you'd see it right. and it said blowout video this is one of those ones I remember getting a one of my first DVDs early DVDs of this and do you remember too with Anchor Bay and I I, I never really talk about this much but a lot of Anchor Bay early ones the disc went bad there was like a whole period of time when there's something the matter with the discs right and certain ones went bad Oh, that one's definitely another out of print one. The Abominable Snowman Original from the Anchor, Anchor Bay, Bay one. Yeah. But like a lot of the discs, you always want to check because like some of the, like Heather's and the, the the disc and Wicker Man, the discs turned like black and then were totally w didn't work. Really? It was like something was totally the matter with it. Never seen that. I know. That's wild. <sighs> yeah. yeah. This is one of those movies I was I was trying to remember what it was called. Did you ever see this movie oh, here yeah. called Death Watch? Yeah, it has like the razor wire. Yeah, like this was a, this is a was a pretty good one here. That one was I, I like that one. Yeah. I like war horror. There's not enough. Of yeah, that. no, there isn't. And here's these. Did you watch these back in the day? These oh, yeah. thumb movies, Bat Thumb. Thumb Tannic. And yeah. Thumb Tannic. They were supposed to make some other ones of these, and they ended up like getting canceled. But they were kind of fun. What is that one there? The Alien Factor. Oh, the Alien Factor. Yeah, this was filmed in uh, Baltimore, where I lived. Um, my, my teacher, Don Lifer, was in this movie. He was, <laughs> he was, um, and if you ever saw Fiend, the director made that one as well. He was the main guy in that one. I don't know if I ever saw Fiend. Yeah, but it was it was kind of funny to like, because I remember my he was the film history teacher, and he was like telling me about how, oh yeah, I was in these movies, and he kind of didn't want to tell me about it, and then he did. A whole bunch of Guar ones. Yeah, look how much. Oh, all forty dollars. I own this one. It's the cheapest one too. I don't think I've ever seen those ones anywhere. Oh, these gross. I, I saw them once at um, Viva La Bands. Like yeah. you know, when Viva La Band had, yeah. had like that concert series that they did. Oh yeah. I always wish they would have. Now that Odorous is dead, they can't do it. But uh, I always wanted Troma to make a Guar film, like where Guar was like the. No, that would be that would have been very cool. I'm surprised that they never made because ICP made a bunch of those movies. Yeah. This is a great movie. If you've never seen it, Bubble. Mm -hmm. This is directed by Steven Soddenberg, and it was all non-professional actors. What about these? 
I've never seen those ones. These are my favorite. But this one, you you should that if you want something to get, this was amazing. This weird woman and stuff was like obsessed with this guy that worked at a doll factory and she does a really it's it's a crazy Five bucks. it's an amazing movie. Yeah, I've never seen that. No, that would be one I would recommend. Devil's Express. There's definitely some because the one that I went to didn't have more obscure stuff. This one definitely has more weird things. Oh in yeah, it. I'm telling you, this one's awesome. Lady Killer. I've never seen this one here. Back here is like all the TV stuff like that. And I don't know when they're going to release the newest season of American Horror Story on DVD. I hope they do. The 1984 one. I really like that one. So hopefully at some point that one comes out. This is a weird MTV one. The animation show. This, I guess it was a bunch of the short animated shorts and stuff like that. That's actually a pretty cool one. Not really remember. I don't remember seeing this one before. This is, what year did this come out from Paramount? To... I don't know for sure, but I, I know I, I don't recall seeing this particular set. Now, now you got to get it back in here, though. Let's see, I'm trying, let's see if they have any. Um, the one I, I always look for when I come into like used stores is Unsolved Mysteries, because those are those ones I'm always trying to find. I know this one is out of print, Tripping the Rift. Let's see, I don't see it. It doesn't look like there's any Unsolved Mysteries. That's one of those ones I'm always looking for whenever I come into any used stores. Dr. Who's Dog Tales. I don't know, sometimes they have like areas too where they lock the stuff up, so you have to look. Like so I remember the one I was at had like a area over here that had some out of print stuff kind of all put together Big love. that's like a hundred bucks uh, the set of that I, this is one of those shows that I, when this was on I watched like the first like three seasons or two seasons of it and then I like totally stopped watching it it's really weird with certain shows that are like that I kind of like really watched all of them and then all of a sudden I kind of lost interest in them and I remember hearing too some of this more some of the random seasons of Simpsons went out of print Let's see if they have any of that show, The, the Riches, because I bought season two of that one, season one of that recently, and I really wanted to get the other one if I saw it in any stores. Because that was one of those shows, too, like, I remember, I think I, I didn't, I sort of stopped watching the second season, because I watched the first one and really liked that, and then kind of, like, lost interest in it for some reason. Mr. Show one, you don't see this collection together, the whole thing like that, too often. And this is a weird, oh, this is a UK edition here of Modern Family. That's really weird this is in here. And this is seasons one through three. That's a really interesting thing because I don't know if they put the first three seasons on, on Blu-ray in the U.S. or not. That's kind of cool, them all together. And then these Misfits ones, these are some U.K. And it says on here we're not playing U.S. players, but that's interesting to see these ones here as well, like mixed in. But yeah, I'll keep looking through here though and seeing what I can come across. I think this is one of the random seasons too of, um, uh, you know, Living Color that I never got. I don't, I, don't, I need to get that one too because I don't, I think I have the first three seasons of that, but not that one. Yeah, but definitely some different things in here. Cause like, like I said, sometimes you go in certain used things and it's like kind of super common things. And they definitely have some different things that I do not see all the time in here though. This is another one of those shows. I never watched this one when it was on and I don't know why. The, uh, the Dead Zone. And I know, uh, if you guys didn't know, The Dead Zone is finally coming to Blu-ray in the U.S. The, the you know original film is going to be like a Stephen King collection, but I don't think it's going to be released individually in the U.S. It's just going to be in this collection of like, uh, I think it's like five different movies or something like that. And this is one I've definitely never seen. This, this is from Anchor Bay. Stan Lee's Lightspeed. Like, I don't know anything about that one. I don't know that one either. When well, we were saying about checking the prices, though, like, like I always think, like, when people see things, like, yeah, see, $50, $50. Do you, I just don't think people come in a place like this and buy things like that. Do you? Like, I mean, they, they'll be gone. You think, you yeah, think so? Like, I wonder yeah, that. I'll like, come back and they'll be gone. So someone's doing it. People are desperate for entertainment. Exactly. Exactly. Melvin. 
I've never seen that one that came out this cover. I, ne I never watched this though. Me either. Party Monster. Let's see, like a Target one. And this is the really, really early edition here of Weird Science from Image from, when did that one come the release? And I don't know when this version was, but I remember that was the first one that I had. Gilbert Grape. No, I've never seen the peeping nun. <laughs> There's somebody like came in here, I think, and sold off their entire trauma collection and like obscure indie horror movies and stuff. It's, last, that's time, last time I was here, I found um, uh, slimy little bastards that um, Dave Parker directed. Oh yeah, yeah, I found that in here. There's wow. another. They even have Giuseppe Andrews one in here, Trailer Town, which is like I, I wish Giuseppe Andrews would come back. Do you remember his movies, Giuseppe Andrews? Like he directed a bunch of these weird movies. I don't. No. And like you know, he acted in Detroit Rock City, and he made these weird shorts in a trailer oh, park. This, the, um... this is amazing. You'd love that. Like yeah. that's definitely worth. But he basically yeah. vanished in like 2015, and like just totally stopped acting, stopped making movies. Yeah, everything. Cabin Fever. And... Yes. And here's you. Uh, you're next. Who is in the? You know, we were working with last night, Elsie Holt, who is the lamb killer in this. That was cool. I don't know this one. Zack and Reba. Sean Patrick Flannery. Oh, Brittany Murphy movie? I've never seen this movie. With Brittany Murphy. That's really weird. I might have to get that. I've pretty much watched like every Brittany Murphy movie, but I've never seen this one. Pretty cheap. I know. Where was this one at? That was over here. Yeah, he made a lot of these movies and he sold them on his website and then, and then, and then like, um, that was the only way you could get him, and he burned the DVDs himself. And oh, really? I have like one of his that he made a VHS of it of Wiggly Harris, and he signed it. He like he signed on the artwork and everything. Yeah. But it was some cool stuff. And then he was also in uh, that movie Look. He was in Look. And yeah, Adam Rifkin. TV show. In the Look TV series, yes. Yeah. He was great in that. I know. I, and in Cabin Fever, he played you know the party man, Deputy man. Winston. And then uh, he was in 2000, uh, 2001, Maniac. 2001 Maniacs. He wasn't in the sequel though. The no. sequel one. Wait, was he not? No, it was somebody else playing his part. I, be I believe. And he, but he was in Cabin Fever too, though, which I I, I like Cabin Fever too a little bit. I know it was kind of like. Yeah, it was cut a lot. Wasn't it was someday. It'll be amazing to see the uncut version of that, the director's one, because. Like the studio changed so much with that one. This movie right here. The Vault. The Vault. The no. Full Moon movie. No, I've never it's seen like that a, one. A urban horror film. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. No, I've definitely never seen that. Red Dwarf. I remember this back. Looking at this cover. Do you remember this cover? Like I remember when this first came out. I was always looking at this. No, and it was and it was making me think it was like Cirque du Soleil. Wasn't there? TV show called the Brit. I, th I think so. There was with something like, the, like that with the vampire mm -hmm. and the robot guy. Yes. There's another weird one in here. Raising the stakes. Like I said, somebody came in here and must have gotten rid of Lloyd Coffin there. Somebody must have just gotten rid of all these like indie horror movies in here because there's so much of that. Recently. This is a cool collection here. They had I had a. Did you ever get any of these collections back in the day? These rare flicks collections? They made like four or five know. of these ones. And it was like three different movies together. This one was a this was a pretty weird one, like Death Collector. They made like a lot of different ones. I don't even remember what company this was. It was like I don't even I think it was I don't even know. I don't think it's rare flicks. It's from 2008, but there was a I think they're out of business that company, but they put out a whole bunch of stuff back in the day. Yeah, I never checked that one out. These are weird ones to have like as feature, these just like old like random like comedy sets. It's yeah. like, it seems like you would put like the most expensive out of print ones in this spot or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it would be like these weird like budget ones in that spot. Oh, this by bus one. I don't know if you looked up here, but there's a bunch of sets up here as well. Oh yeah, some stuff on the top. Like a Tarantino 
set right here. Oh yeah. This toy box for. Oh yeah, Toy Story yeah. collection. Oh yeah, there's that Tarantino set. This is. I don't think this is even that bad of a price for this set. Sixty dollars. I think this set. This set was like really expensive at one point. I believe like even more so than this. Which one is that one there? Is that your shot? Oh yeah, that's a cool set. The commitment and the unborn. Oh, the the original unborn one. Oh yeah, they did remake that. Yeah, movie. that was that was the original. I didn't even realize that was a. No, I, I don't. I don't. An yeah. Remake. Yeah, I think the other the unborn one. You don't hear about that one as much as some of the other Asian horror ones. This one here, dark room. Definitely never seen this one from 2006. I, I've never. This is an interesting looking one here. This is really funny to see in here too. This is like one of those SRS cinema ones yeah. where they made like super limited amounts of them in here. Like they were they were limited runs of like 50 and stuff like that. Some of their those ones. So that's really weird. Ooh. Yeah, it does seem like someone just had their horror collection and just brought it in. Well, one woman here was saying though, she's like, oh, I brought a lot of that stuff in. So I was like, you know, she was, she was like telling us that a minute ago. So it might have been all her stuff. Maybe so. Maybe it was. I always what? wonder though, you know, when you see something in here that's selling for like fifty dollars, how much? I wonder like what they gave them. That you know, like they're like here's a dollar. Like yeah, I always wonder that. You know what I mean? They probably made nothing. That's a, that's what I think. And that's the sad part. I know. That's what. Like, because sometimes people don't know, and they, they wouldn't think it would be. This is interesting. Like a cold red one in here too. Like there's, oh, there's definitely a couple cold reds here. Yeah. yeah, you never see cold red anywhere. That in in there's a store. I feel like it's down here. I'll find it. I'm pretty sure I saw another cold red the other day. So I ended up getting the uh, that Zack and Reba movie, which I said I've never seen this one with Brittany Murphy, and you found one at the very end, which yeah. was a cool find, Sleepaway Camp 4, The Survivor, which was the one that was like, um, the, the they kind of shot like 30 minutes of the movie, and then they kind of quit the movie, and they never finished it. Yeah. They kind of cut it together, and then put it, and you got the Giuseppe Andrews one I was telling you to get, the Trailer Town one, which, that's such a weird movie. I think you're liking it. It is so out there and peculiar. Cool. And then The Peeping Nun. And that was kind of an awkward, weird one to have them get you, but <laughs> I know, but I'm you, not weird. But you said there's another half price book, so we're gonna probably head to that one next and we'll see what we can find at that one. Yes, sir. Into the second half price books we go. This set, this one here though is so much bigger. This one, look at how much stuff is in this location. Like it's like goes all the way back here. And this one it looks like they separated stuff. Oh, oh yeah, look at how much is in this one. What area is this in now? Because the one we were just in was like south. This... That was South Austin. This yeah. Was but this well, they're both on Lamar. Or I guess it's I funny. This this one was in the other store. That same set. Yeah. It's like that's really weird. These ones I never come across though for a good price. The ones that these that are the limited edition ones mm -hmm. that have the um, the you know direct the uh, original cuts of those ones. I'm always looking for those particular ones. This one seems to separate the Blu-rays as well. But yeah, look at how much stuff is in this one. This one is, and it goes, but, then, but there's also like lots of different books and that kind of stuff in here as well. But look at how big this store is. This is like a gigantic location. Yeah, but we'll look through and see what they, got, what they have. This, I guess this is like the multi collections and stuff. It's weird when you see some of the same, no, this is another one. This is a Tok Tokyo Shock one. Yeah. Another one I don't think I ever saw this one's Taxi Tonight. And they have a second copy of it. This one we saw in the other store, the, yeah. the one that had the Unborn. Let's see where the TV is. And this this one here is like when they have like a tons of copies of the Dark Knight, like a lot of the same ones, like Avatar, like a million of the same ones. They have the UK editions in here of Fast and Furious. That's funny to see. Usually the UK, the um, uh, Universal ones were region free. But we'll go through all this stuff and see what we can find in here. Hopefully this one is like the other one. It has all those interesting horror ones because they had so many trauma titles and they had all these SRS cinema ones in the other store and a lot of really obscure stuff. 
Now, how do you feel if like a movie doesn't have a slip cover? Do you like not dislike when it's missing it? I've, I put all my slip covers in a shoe box. Oh, you, you don't keep them on them? No, I put. It, I don't like the way they fit. Oh, you don't? Yeah, so I put them in a shoe box, and if they ever work anything, maybe I'll yeah sell them. I, I used to like years back not care at all about them and now I'm like so crazy about like wanting the slip covers I don't know why I but in the very beginning I didn't care about it yeah. and I think I used to get rid of them so like some of my early ones like spider-man I remember I got rid of them and I keep them yeah just, just in case yeah bad kids Yeah, I was looking in here to see if they had any of the unsolved mysteries, but I didn't see those any ones in here. I feel like unsolved mysteries probably are like people are probably buying the older ones now even more because of the the new series that are coming back. And I miss when they would put out like reality shows on DVD, like back when they were putting out Pawn Stars and Storage Wars and all those. Like I kind of liked having like seasons of some of these ones, like but they never seemed to put out like just like when Food Network had like a deal with Target and put out like a bunch of like early seasons of Diners, Drivings, and Dives and a whole bunch of those. I, I always like having like some like reality shows and cooking shows and some of that stuff on DVD and you just don't see them anymore. They don't really release them ever. I wish they would at least do them as like Burn on Demand or something like that so you could still get physical copies of some of those ones. But there's so many reality shows too. Like this one, I, I always lo love this one back in the day, Living with Ed, Ed Bigley Jr. One, some of these Little Britons I know have gone out of print too, some specific particular ones. But uh, that, like when I say that, you know, oh, I know, that's kind of me, because in this one they go, y'all know. I, I love Little Britain though, that was a great show, especially Come Fly With Me, the other series that they did. Jetson's movie, this is one I keep on hoping they're put out on um, Blu-ray in the US at some point. Let's see if they have any like trauma and some of the weird horror ones that they were having in the other location in here. Yeah, here's some of these co these Food Network ones. These ones were all, like I was saying, like Target exclusive. So Target was the only place that had them. They used to have like a section of all like Food Network stuff. I don't know if any of you guys remember that, but they were the only place that ever sold those ones. Oh, here's some Elton Brown uh, good eat ones. These are these are weird. These are like um, takeout, good eats, poultry, food network takeout collection. I've never never saw these ones. These are really weird ones. I've seen like other collections of good eats, like these ones I've seen I think, but never these ones that say takeout. There's a whole bunch of are they all the same ones? Super sweet. Oh no, they're all different ones. That's interesting. I don't think they were in like a box set or not. This is like kitchen classics one I think this was another one of those ones that was a target one but yeah that's that these are really interesting because I've never I don't remember ever seeing these particular ones because like I, I saw these ones but then like a box set but not like in those kind of cases here's another one Iron Chef USA this was one um, you know uh, William Shatner hosted this I totally remember that that was like I forgot about that though that's an interesting one in here to see like I said they these stores seem to have some really obscure different things in here let's start though going down and see if there's anything mixed in like when I say when I look for like out of print like I always look usually on the spines too for certain ones for like usually anchor bay ones and then like so those those are the ones I always look up just to see what they've got that was an interesting Christian Christian Lord one this is kind of a fun kind of like um you know, R.L. Stein, so it had a real goosebumps kind of feel uh, to this one. What about Bob? And this one, you know, the sort of sun fit. Oh, it's a different one. This one, I guess this one, yeah, it was like, it must have been an earlier release or something like that because it has the widescreen thing on the side of that one. That's cool. They have the Sleepaway Camp box set in here. This is the one though that doesn't have the um, red cross in the front because when they first came out the one had the red cross and they had to remove that from it. But this is the one that has the um, bonus disc of the Survivor on it. This is a weird one to see in here too. These um, these uh, Mondo ones, the Mondo collection in here. And I 
don't know if it's out yet, but I heard that Paul Hogan like made a new movie where it's kind of like one of those like self-aware movies where he's kind of playing like a guy like himself or something like that. And it's kind of like the Crocodile Dundee character or something like that. It sounded kind of interesting though. Like I said, I don't know if it's released yet or not, but it looked kind of like an interesting one from what I had heard about it. But yeah, there's definitely some obscure stuff you see in here. These are these are definitely cool, very cool stores. I love a bunch of brain damage releases in here. Dead stop. Definitely never seen this one here from Trinity releasing. Dead creatures. Oh yeah, that that was kind of cool. That one. <laughs> this one was hilarious. It's so bad. Motorhome massacre. This is a, some Ken Forey movie I never saw here. Dead Bones. That's really, ew, it's really gross in the pack. I don't know anything about this movie. That's very weird. I have to look that up. Oh yeah, the I remember this like cover. I never, I don't think I ever watched this movie. So yeah, this, I, remember, I always remember this cover when this came out. I remember, these are one of those ones I always remember seeing at like Tower Records. Yeah, back in the day, a lot of these more obscure stuff. That was one store I always used to absolutely love going to. Down here is like all the clearance stuff. You always have to check down here because you never know what kind of stuff can be down here as well. Usually it's like some of the most common stuff, but every so often there can be some weird stuff down in these areas. I know there's that new American Pie movie coming out, I think in October, with like it's all focusing on the, the girl characters in it, but it looks like it could be kind of fun. One of the, the direct-to-video ones. It seems like these are more like the kids' ones down here. Simpsons first season. Wait, three dollars for that. That's a, not a bad price at all. I have, I have all those ones. Dario one. And this is the kids section over there. And you pulled out over here, they had, where was that Goosebumps one? The green case. I, I always thought that was cool when they had the Goosebumps, the VHS ones in the green cases. So that's a cool one to see. And you found a Beetleborgs. Yeah, VHS there. Curse of Shadow Board. Yeah, I, I always remember that show. This is good. Yeah. And these are kind of interesting to see the old dinosaurs ones. Yeah, and then the big green, which was like kind of like the not as good version of the Sandlot. Yeah, but that, I honestly really like this movie. I know, I, I liked it as a kid. I, I remember. This was actually filmed in Taylor, which is like right by where we uh, were filming. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Or some of it was filmed in Taylor. Yes. It's really sunny. Yeah. Well, let's stand this way so you know it's not. You need. You're like Danny the Sinistalker. You don't wear sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> and he never gets them. Every time I have he always. Oh, you have it. Yeah. yeah. At least you've got it. Danny always squints and the sun's in his eye. And he <laughs> never gets the sunglasses. But I got this weird one. I can't find anything about it online. I couldn't find any ones for sale. This Dead Bones um, movie with Ken Forey. It was only five dollars. Look, an interesting one. Yeah. And you got one that I always liked. Called the um, the curious curious case. campus corpse. Yeah, case of the campus corpse. And this was actually a pretty cool movie. I remember so that was actually a really weird find. Yeah, code red. Yes, but yeah, we got to check out too. And and you and you have a YouTube channel too. Some people can check out your yeah. stuff. What was the channel? Oh, uh, so I got two of them. Mikey Fish Horror. That's the movie stuff. And then I got a metal channel where we react to metal songs called Slam in Salmon. Slam in salmon yeah. i'll put the links below to check those out yeah, dude. but yeah thanks so much for taking me to the half price books location i got you bud dude. really appreciate it anyway yeah. though guys thanks for watching subscribing like i always say if you guys enjoy these videos definitely give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys later bye